A dog correcting another dog for inappropriate behavior is far superior to the next best method. I'm going to explain to you how to reduce any serious incorrect behavior, and we're going to break down Prince's reaction to that bite and how that can help you. This is a one-year-old cattle dog. This is a strong breed. These guys are not meant to herd sheep. When they go for the back leg of a dog, they think they're going for a cow and they bite hard. So we're going to break down that video as well. So this was a born train drop off. This was not a private session. That's why this video is so short. All right, here it is. You want to reduce a serious incorrect behavior, a dangerous behavior. There's three elements to it. You have to remember this, and it doesn't even have to be dangerous. It's just any serious behavior that you want to get rid of. There's three elements to it. One is timing. The timing has to be almost exactly right. That's where e-callers get it right. You can time something 100 feet away. Okay. The other thing is intensity. The quote-unquote punishment, right? the e-caller or Prince getting mad at the dog or the correction or whatever, has to be more than the inherent reinforcement that the dog is getting from the behavior, okay? So Prince's reaction had to be bigger than the enjoyment this cattle dog got from biting the back leg. But the third thing is where a lot of certain trainers get it wrong, and that is there needs to be a dog on dog or a human on, do human on dog or a human on person aspect to it where the dog knows where the quote unquote punishment is coming from. And that's where certain things get it wrong. That's where corrections on a leash get it wrong, e-collars get it wrong. The positive reinforcement, the force-free folks, they get it wrong the whole time. They don't, even, they don't even think that a dog should ever be corrected for anything, so they get the whole thing wrong. All right, now we're gonna break down this incident. So, cattle dog, his trigger is the back legs. He has a muzzle on at this point. And the bite, and Prince goes hard. And he should go hard, and the fight ends right there. Okay, we're going to break this down in slow motion for you and really, okay, here it comes. And back like, how do we know this would have been a bite if the dog didn't have a muzzle? It's Prince's reaction. Prince doesn't get this mad unless he knows it would have been a bite. Now, this is essentially jujitsu. Yes, he's using his mouth, but he's barely, he's not doing it hard. This is a body thing from Prince. Watch his right, Prince's right leg right here. He thinks he might get bit and he brings that right leg out. And then the fight ends in a minute on the second right there. That's when he is basically down and he says, okay, I get it, I get it. Then Prince does just a little one right there and the guy's wily and he moves well and he's strong. And then no one holds a grudge. grudge. Prince doesn't hold a grudge, I don't hold a grudge. I did not even call Prince off at any point during that. He stopped himself, I said nothing. You've heard me call Prince off. I, I said, this dog needs it, we're gonna let this go. Hey, this video is not done, but if it has helped you, if you found it interesting, if you found it unique, then hit that subscribe button. Now we're going down the pasture. We left the muzzle on because he's strong. These are cow biting dogs, okay? These are not sheep biting, herding, nipping dogs. These guys are different. They're one of their top four breeds, pit bulls, bull terriers, these guys for pound for pound toughest dogs. So I'm gonna repeat it again. The timing is super important. The animal has to know, oh, I'm being corrected for that behavior and they gotta know which behavior they're being corrected for. The correction needs to be more than the behavior was inherently reinforcing. But then the third thing is that it is okay for the dog to know that the correction came from that dog or that person, okay? Is it better for the kid to stand up for, to the bully or for the parents to come out of the house and yell at the bully? We all know the answer. It's better for the kid to stand up to the bully because then the bully knows that it's from the kids. They can look in their eyes and say, this kid stood up to me, not parents came out. All right, guys. And I mean, oh, doing the handshake method right now, basically let the dog know that I am friends with these people. This is a double-edged sword. Sometimes though, the dog will sometimes say, get away from my mommy, but they'll often say, oh, my mommy likes this person. All right, that's the video.